I'm Lisa Van Wagner. I am a transplant hepatologist from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. Um, I direct our clinical research program. I'm associate professor of medicine there and help to run our non-alcohol fatty liver program or NASH program as the disease was formally called. And today I just presented information that is hot off the press from this past weekend in the name change that has just happened in this disorder. So the disease that we formerly called NAFLD and NASH is now called Metabolic Dysfunction Associated Steatotic Liver Disease, or MASLD, and its inflammatory type is called MASH. And it may sound kind of esoteric, what's the big deal with a name change? Well, it's actually a really big deal. First off, the decision to change the name was a global effort. There were multiple societies across the world, over 56 different countries were involved in this decision, and it included patient stakeholders and their family members and caregivers, as well as many other advocacy organizations. And it was a couple of folds. Number one is the name that we had for the disease before didn't actually describe what the disease was. It was non-alcohol. So it doesn't even tell you what the disease is, whereas metabolic dysfunction more aligns closely with what we now understand this disease to be, a disease of the liver that is a reflection of the metabolic syndrome and the dysregulation that's going on in patients who have metabolic risk factors like type 2 diabetes and high cholesterol and high blood pressure. But number two, it was brought to our attention by patients, their caregivers, advocacy organizations, and also providers that having a name called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease was actually really stigmatizing to patients. There's a misconception that all liver disease is due to alcohol, in, which is not true at all. There's lots, there's hundreds of liver diseases out there. Alcohol is one cause of many. The other thing is that fatty um, is a stigmatizing word. Yes, obesity as a medical condition is associated with having muscled but there are patients who are normal weight who also get this disease because of the metabolic dysfunction that underlies the process. And so that was really important. And then the last thing that makes this so important is it helps us to recognize that muscled and alcohol liver disease are not always distinct etiologies, that there is a significant category of patients who have metabolic risk factors, but who also do use alcohol and maybe not alcohol at high levels like we think of an alcohol use disorder, but they're using alcohol in an effect that their livers actually can't tolerate it. And so there's overlap. And so now there's a new category of disease called MET-ALD, which is metabolic syndrome overlapped with alcohol liver disease that allows us now to study a new population of patients that desperately needs to be studied um, so that we can better understand the disease and treat this patient population.